In this episode, we're gonna take time out to build a woodshed. We're actually replacing a woodshed that used to be in this area over here. Uh, got taken out by a tree that happened to fall over. We've drawn up some rough plans for our woodshed. Uh, we decided that it would be about 16 feet long for the roof and the um, depth of the roof is 8 feet using 8 foot 2 by 6s. We have three posts supporting the roof across the front. We'll be putting in some cross bracing to support the roof. A uh, 4x6 across is a header, 16 feet long. And our 2x6s for the roof structure will be 2 feet on center. We're doubling up our uh, supporting 2x6s on the outside edge and uh, putting down three sheets of plywood across the top. On top of that, we'll put some paper and then finish it off with some metal roofing, matching the rest of the roofing on our property. We used the Domino 750XL to strengthen the joinery. Bringing the tool to the work makes things a lot easier. We plunged double mortises for the 12mm dominoes at the deepest setting on the 750XL. We used wood reclaimed from the original woodshed to make the two 4x6 supporting roof headers. The headers are held in place with metal post cap brackets. The next morning, we started by putting in bracing from the posts to the header, using a level to ensure our posts would be held vertical.
roofing might seem too complicated or mysterious, but uh, underneath it, it's really not that big a deal. Uh, you use these clips that go over the small end, and then the next panel clips into them. The clips are placed at two feet apart. At the bottom of each panel, roofing screws with metal gaskets hold the panels in place. This allows for the expansion and contraction of the panels up under the roof cap. So for our very last piece up there, we have about nine inches left and our pieces are not are 12 inches wide. So we're gonna have to rip off um, the edge of that to take it down to nine inches and then we'll bend up the outside edge at one inch and then the uh, end cap will come over the top of what we've cut off. So it doesn't matter that it's kind of a rougher edge with our saw blade. <laughs> So it's starting to rain and the sun's going down. So we'll finish this up tomorrow putting these end caps on and the uh, front piece and then we're done. So this doesn't actually touch the A clamp. clamp is a third hand. needs to be shaped at the ends to wrap neatly around the corners. Filing the edges smooths the roughness from the big saw cuts. Okay, we're going to cut the flared part so that it can bend around just up to the flare. Left the seam right in the center 